Hello everybody and welcome back to Lear of the Overmind for part 14 of my Let's Play Undertale Pacifist run. So we just got done defeating, or rather running away from Undyne, and instead of continuing on, I thought I would come back and check out what I guess is her house to see if what Papyrus was saying about hanging out with her actually, you know, made any kind of difference or was going to take place or not. And lo and behold, Papyrus is standing right here in front of her house. So let's see what we got going on here. Oh, ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes, why not? Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. I have a feeling she does not love those. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Oh, that's... Did I, did I come at a bad time? You bet I am. I, I, and I brought a friend. <laughs> She's stuttering a little bit, Papyrus. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? Papyrus is a little excited. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you, on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So we are we ready to start? <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> Jumps out a window. What? Oh, wow. I just noticed there was a giant sword on the ground. <laughs> um, Boy, this is awkward. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Well, well, no. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. What? First you parade into my house, and then you insult me? Um... You little brat! I have half a mind to... Wait... I'll prove you wrong! We are going to be friends! So, you and Papyrus are like two peas in a pod, apparently. In fact, we are gonna be besties! Oh, jeez. I'll make you like me so much, your whole life will revolve around me! Oh, oh, oh no. It's the perfect revenge! Foo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> er, now, why don't we... Why don't you have a seat? Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that! Normally, he nails the landing. One time, Alfie's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and feed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? What about the sword? Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. In case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? You know what? Yes. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Yeah. Let's sit at this table here. Sit down and progress? Yes, why not? Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. It's got the same date music as we had with Pyrus. Oh man. All set! What would you like? Um. Hey, don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Uh, okay. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Oh, jeez. Uh, how about that giant sword? Acquired taste. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you were my beloved house guest. Uh, 
about you. Are you hitting on me? Yes. Not impressed? Apparently you're not impressed. <laughs> Alright, well, okay then. Sugar! That sugar's for the tea! I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar! What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes. What? Really? That rules! That's metal, dude! That's so metal! <laughs> soda. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! You look, you look crazy. Huh? Why do I have it? <laughs> the little Temmy face. Hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was, a, it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. So Asgore has a beard, huh? Tea box. Blatantly the correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Make us some tea. Just like Sid in Final Fantasy VII. Sit your ass down and drink your goddamn tea. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Yeah. There it goes. Okay, it's all done. All right. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. Um. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! <laughs> hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. Man. Flowy popping up everywhere. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. Oh yeah, tragic backstory incoming. You know, I was pretty hot headed I was a pretty hot headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried suplexing a boulder as hard as I could just because I could. <laughs> yeah, you do that. You do that. I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. Couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard, so I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Yeah, he does want to be a member of the Royal Guard. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Oh, come on. He's worked so hard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty friggin' tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. Yeah, yeah, I guess I can kind of see that. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling pe into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So uh maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. We're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus is his, Papyrus is cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to cook it for him. Or you'll have to have it for him. Oh no, she's 
getting friggin' vicious. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer to the cooking. Which means that if I give you this lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Ooh, afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Oh no! Oh god. She grabbed me by the hair. Uh, it's getting more intense. Let's start with the sauce! Ooh. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now! Pound them into dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force, you knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn! Yeah. Oh, it's everywhere! Oh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... Oh, jeez. We have the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Yeah. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot! How will you put them in the pot? Fiercely! You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Stir! 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 Stir harder! Stir harder! Keep doing it! Harder! Go, 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 go! Ah, oh, let me do it! Oh, jeez. Um... A little too much. <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step! Turn off the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hold right and turn up the heat. Do it! All the way. Oh, man. Hotter! Keep going. Hotter! Darn it! Keep going. Hotter! I, I think we're gonna burn it. Wait, that's two. Oh, no. Oh, uh-oh. Ah, uh, we've gone too far. We've gone too far. Oh, man! No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! No. I've been defeated! My house is in shambles! I haven't failed to befriend you! That's it! I don't care if you're my guest anymore! One final rematch! All out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride! Now come on! Hit me with all you've got! Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Act. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Oh man. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? And down goes the spear. I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine stick. But I massively mispronounced that. The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Asgore, I guess. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. <laughs> Just like him. Yep. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do, if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. Scary. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Yeah, before we die. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, alright? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Later. I guess.
Sounds like only fire lives here now. Hey, it's a dummy. What? 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 It's a living. It's a living? Um, okay. Cool beans. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bring the episode to a close here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give that like button a smash. Comment below if you have anything cool to say or contribute to the awesomeness of this game. And share with your friends to get them into the awesomeness of Undertale. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, guys. I'll catch you all in the next episode. <laughs>